How's it going everyone? So in this video, I'm going to talk about how to get rid of back fat and a muffin top. So before I get started, please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I do appreciate the support. It helps my channel grow. Click the bell notification button so you guys get all my newest videos. Now, uh, when I talk about this, a lot of people want to see exercises being done. And that's okay. Um, the only issue with getting rid of certain types of fat on your body is that exercises, you could literally choose any single back exercise, as long as it's an actual back exercise. And that's good enough. You do two exercises, you do three sets of 10 reps, you're good to go. It's not the exercises that actually allow you to lose the back fat. What it comes down to is being in a caloric deficit. So you can do all these fancy back exercises that you find on YouTube or wherever, and um, if you're not actually in a caloric deficit, you're just wasting your time. Like you will not get rid of your back fat if you do not track your calories and if you are not in a caloric deficit. Um, there are some good back exercises that I would choose though, some solid ones um, over some that I probably wouldn't really choose. First back exercise that I love, probably my favorite back exercise is gonna be the pull-up. Not the chin up, the pull up. I find it's a little bit harder, but chin up is a good too. Um, so yeah, pull ups. I do weighted pull ups, so I can easily, easily do ten body weight pull ups. Very, very easy. I could probably do thirty or forty in a row. I think I did thirty five in a row the one time, maybe forty. Anyways, I do weighted pull ups, so I'll add about a hundred pounds on to a dip belt. It's just a weighted belt, and I'll do pull ups with a hundred pounds for about anywhere from five to eight repetitions. So I love, love that for uh, back exercise and it will help to get rid of your back fat. Another great exercise that you can do is going to be um, the deadlift. Obviously the deadlift is really, really um, good for getting rid of back fat. What I like to do, I like the deadlift. I find that it's super, super strenuous on your CNS, which is your central nervous system. So I like to do Romanian deadlifts a lot of time. Now the difference between a regular deadlift and a Romanian deadlift is a deadlift you start with the bar on the ground. A Romanian deadlift you start it on the rack pins. And then what you do is you take it off the rack pins and you basically just do the down motion of a deadlift. So technically a, a Romanian deadlift, you can just Google or YouTube it and you'll see what it is. You're technically doing the opposite. Instead of starting on the floor, you're starting at the top and then just basically doing a deadlift. When you do the Romanian deadlift and when you start at the top, you don't actually touch uh, the bar to the ground. Now, the thing here is by not starting on the ground, you're saving your central nervous system. Doing a deadlift off the ground is probably one of the most strenuous activities that you can do. It's very hard on the central nervous system. So I love doing Romanian deadlifts. I love doing weighted pull-ups. Those are my favorite exercises for getting rid of back fat. For muffin tops, very simple flutter kicks, Russian ab twists, and reverse crunches. Those are my three favorite. End of video. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Click the bell notification button so you guys get all my newest vids.